Hey geeks and possibly non-geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to speed up your boot time, clean up your computer, make things more responsive, including your web browser. This is similar to what you would get if you took your computer to a shop and paid them maybe 50 bucks to clean it up. And we're actually going to do a little bit more. This is designed for the average user. There's so much more you can do, but this is just a simple, basic, safe way to speed up your computer if that's what you're looking for. It's a very common complaint. First thing you want to do is start your web browser up and type in Major Geeks C Cleaner and just follow the link here to standard. When you get there, look for the animated download locations. You can actually click that button or click downloaded author site. Click it, it will download double click the file on your desktop and once you've done that you will have the icon here to start CCleaner so let's bring CCleaner up and this is what you'll look at right away now we're using Windows 10 so it should be pretty much the same with any other computer so all you want to do is click run cleaner you will get this warning I typically click do not show this message again CCleaner has been pretty safe and conservative for me so there we go we run it as you can see 1757 pretty fast now your computer because it's slow that's why we're here it's going to take a little bit longer so that gets rid of all the junk files on your computer and I like to do that depending on your computer usage maybe monthly um, I use mine a lot so I probably do it every week or two we're going to ignore a lot of stuff here so just stick to where I'm going let's head under tools and there's a couple of things we can do here now that we've cleaned the drive there's startup everything it's starting up is right here this is all the stuff you see here each one of these things starts with Windows slows down your boot and uses memory so if there's something in here you don't want you want to get rid of them so I have the C cleaner monitoring we just put on that is up to you you can actually go into C cleaner options monitoring and uncheck that there it goes and if you don't want it to monitor and clean your drive automatically let's go back startup so I got VMware something I'm running in right now but this is a good example so if you see VMware user process and you don't know what it is feel free to fire up your web browser and type in VMware no I forgot what it was already how about that VMware user process obviously you won't have this this is just an example and this is a comfort level thing depending on what you feel like you're doing so right away it's the official VMware site let's click on it and in here it tells me I remember okay I know what VMware is it tells me what it does and how it works and you can decide from there whether you want it or not once again this is something you can skip but you might want to take a look at a few things especially store-bought computers that have a bunch of stuff installed that you never use that's running and, and eating up valuable CPU and memory now we have scheduled tasks this is similar to startup and you can do the exact same thing there's the Google task update the OneDrive see I don't use OneDrive so here's what we can do here we can delete it but your smarter move is to disable it now as you can see it's grayed out so this gives you the option to use your computer for a day or two and then you can either come back and optionally re-enable it with that button there or if you know you don't need it if you're a hundred and I guess one percent I hate to say that like 100 percent anyway if you're 100 percent sure you can delete it however by simply disabling it it should be good enough for you so you're not messing around and if you find out three weeks later you need it and you deleted it context menu what is the context menu the context menu is not a big deal as far as performance goes but I like to tweak it so if I click on anything and right click this is the context menu so you see you have Windows Defender and sometimes and odds are you've got a whole bunch of stuff in here if you don't use it it doesn't hurt to remove them or disable them um, yeah that's about it nothing nothing too uh, difficult there so let's take a look here scheduled tasks now one last thing and we're almost done is your browser plugins I don't have anything with Internet Explorer if you have a Google Chrome or a Firefox it'll be here so now the question becomes here's all these extensions now over time extensions can slow down your browser so this could possibly speed up your web surfing by removing some stuff so there's YouTube there's a lot of Google stuff so once again we're gonna repeat what we did before you don't use Gmail disable it come back later see if it works you don't use Google Drive disable it you know you don't use it I don't use any Google Docs you could actually put your mouse here hold the shift button and use the arrows see how I did that 
I'm just using the arrow up, arrow down. So I know I might use in docs, sheets, slides. Now I can disable them in bulk or just click delete. That should help your web browser speed up a little bit. So that's the basics as far as what you'd see done in the shop. It's pretty simple stuff. Hit pause on the video at any point. If you're not sure, roll back or hit pause as you go and just follow the video through. Now that we're done, we'd probably want to see if defrag's been done in a while. You will tap on your Windows key on your keyboard and S. So window key S and search will come up. It gets you there faster. Start to type defrag. And as you do, as you can see, defragment and optimize drives. That will come up. Now I have an SSD solid state drive. They're a very fast, slightly expensive hard drive. As you can see, never run because you're not really supposed to defragment SSD drives. However, you probably don't have an SSD drive. So if it doesn't say solid state drive there, you're looking for C. That's your operating system drive. And what you want to do is, depending on the last run or current status, I don't see your computer if it's been a few weeks or so or never, you want to click on optimize. So once you click on optimize, as you can see, not available because it's blocked Windows 10. It will come up, it will show you a graph here of all the files on your drive and what's fragmented. Go ahead and let it run. Now, as you can see, you can also go to change settings and you can set it to run it on a schedule. And most people, your average user, will be very happy with a monthly defrag and then a notification. If three runs are missed, probably not a bad idea. So. There you go. I don't use it, but that gets you through defrag. At this point, all you need to do now is start and, of course, restart. Bring your computer back up so we can get rid of all this stuff. Even though we deleted it, it's still loaded until you reboot again. So give it a reboot, see how it runs. Any questions, ask me down in the comments below. I will answer what I can as soon as I can. Over here in the last 15 seconds, right somewhere around here, should be a little logo there. If you click on that, you can subscribe to our channel. That would be much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I see you next time.